Um, we're here today with Maria Bravo, founder of the Global Gift Foundation, and we are so excited to hear about her. She's a hugely inspiring woman. Um, Vive Living is a platform for women 40 plus, and it's Vive Living's life journey to discover what helps us to look good, feel good, do good, and be yeah. inspired. And Maria, really, you tick all of those boxes. <laughs> you, you are beautiful. Thank you. Talented with um, uh, a very successful acting career, a long list of celebrity friends and <laughs> even celebrity exes. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. I could, we, we can talk about them if we want to, but anyway. Um, and, you know, but what is really interesting, and I think it's going to be really interesting to Vive Living followers and to readers as well, is what actually motivated you to follow a path of philanthropy with all of this happening in your life? Well, I think this came from my mom. Yeah. Because my mom, um, since very young age, she used to tell me, you know, you have to have compassion. You have to mm. put yourself in mm. other people's shoes. Yeah. I come from a very humble family. Mm. And I remember my mom just putting some more water in the lentil soup mm -hmm. and invite, you know, all the, the neighbors. neighbors to come because yeah. they didn't have anything yeah. to eat. So from that, it just made me realize how just a little kindness mm. goes a long way. That's beautiful. Mm. You know, it's really amazing when you think of when you're bringing up your own children and what are the values you need to inst instill in them. Yeah. And, and similarity, I have grandparents yeah. and parents who were always thinking about how to make their little change in the world. And it's yeah. really quite special when someone starts to climb a ladder and they keep that with them. Yeah. You know, absolutely. And and I wanted to know as well who is the person who inspired you most. And I think you started to talk about her. How did how did your mom inspire you? My mom. It's yeah. A, she's it's just one of those people that you don't realize how incredible and positive impact was mm. in my life until I lost her. Because oh. I start looking back and and thinking, all my values came from you know just my mom saying. Mm you can do it, uh, mm. you can be anybody you want, you just mm. need to believe in yourself. Mm. All these little things that I remember when I was a teenager thinking, oh mom, come on now, mm. you know. And she kept saying to me, you can be anyone that you want to wow. be. You can create your own reality in your mm. own life. Mm. You can be the, the, the master of your universe. Wow. And and for me, you know, when you are a teenager, a little girl, it's like, oh, my mom, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then when you grow up, I'm 51 now, and mm. I realized that everything that my mother said, it was so genius and yeah. so um, insightful mm -hmm. and it stuck in my guts, you know, throughout my life. Mm. Yeah. And you know, moms sometimes say to their kids, I will always be with you. Yeah. And then sometimes, unfortunately, because of life, one day they're not. But yeah. I, I think your mum stayed with you, Maria, oh, yeah. She's doesn't with she? Me you know, everywhere. it's um, it's it's inspiring again to hear someone know where their roots are and know what motivates them to be a better person. Mm. And you've got a very interesting project on at the moment, which I know it's either been realised or in the process of being realised. Yeah. Um, Global gift. Okay. Casa. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I love talking about <laughs> I want to hear about it. I want to hear <laughs> all about you. it. This is in my hometown, by the way, Marbella. So yeah, it's, yeah. I'm going to get even more excited about it when I get back to Marbella. Yes, I would love for yeah. you to, to yeah. come and experience. To. It's an experience. Yeah. Tell us about of it. Of the please. soul. Um, this, this is a dream I have for many years. Yeah. I've been living for in the United States for the last 30 years mm. of my life. and. Mm. And I've been doing philanthropy all my life, mm. literally, from just by giving a smile in the street mm. to somebody who needed it, you mm. know, that you can see that they mm. needed to be recognized, or just by donating my time in mm. the local um, foundation mm -hmm. or association. Mm -hmm. But my dream was to come back to Marbella and create a center, a center where I wasn't be able to have children, so I wanted to help mm. the children, a center mm -hmm. where those people that they don't have financial support, they have children with rare diseases mm -hmm. or um, special needs. Mm -hmm. And I know in Marbella there is no therapy for this kind of mm -hmm. children. They are mm -hmm. not 
medical new treatments. So I wanted to bring that back mm. to my hometown. Mm. And, and you know, when you dream and you realize that dream in your mind, uh, <laughs> it comes through. So yeah. it came true. And how lucky for the people who are going to benefit from it. Yeah. You know, and um, this is, it's, it must be quite amazing to do something in your own home yeah, it where is. your roots are. And we have 300 children, wow. seven different foundations that wow. we cover under yeah. our umbrella of yeah. Global Give. And, and it just feels really good mm. because you're making a difference mm. uh, in the life of so many people. And the ripple effect yes. of it is in uncountable, yeah. literally uncountable. And it glows inside yeah, you, doesn't it? Glows, it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, I have a background in NGO setup yeah. and sustainable development projects. And I've looked at some of the projects that Global Gift works on, and, and they're beautiful. And the ethos is amazing, and they're very insightful, not just looking at giving at the top end, mm -hmm. but looking at people accessing uh, the services as well. And, yeah. and I also had a look at Eva's foundation and the yeah. sort of projects, and, and she's hugely interesting in how she can go back to thinking of not just kids getting benefits, but, but how do you ensure kids access something that's an opportunity is by going back to their parents exactly. and, and not just working with, thinking it's at the petal, it actually starts at the root where you've yeah. got to go with the parents and where the parents are and how the parents nurture and how the families nurture as well. And I think it's, it, from what I've seen from the projects, they're hugely insightful. Yeah. Um, what attracts you to a project, Maria? What do you see in a project? I mean, I, I've seen the Harmony House one here, which I think yeah. is beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. But what actually attracts you to a project For to me get involved it has in? To be, well, when we get involved in a foundation, you know, Global Gift mm. is this platform mm. that is 14 countries all mm. around the world, and we're benefiting mm. 22 foundations mm. throughout the year. So for us, we, we are very meticulous of who mm. we're getting involved with. Okay. It has to be uh, related to children and mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. um, I think empowering a woman, you mm -hmm. empower the family, you empower the community. You empower. Right. So, mm -hmm. uh, so first the mission has to be women or children, mm -hmm. and then uh, they have to be fiscally responsible. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we work so hard yes. to fundraise, so we want to make sure 100% of the money that we fundraise goes to the purpose mm. of the that's mission. Quite a, that's quite a big statement to make, yes. actually, in the way that, that charities are run in today's, in today's 100%. age. It's a big we, commitment uh, to make. The galas yeah. that we do, we are sponsored by mm -hmm. different brands mm -hmm. that we give benefit in mm -hmm. the protocol, or yeah. you know, in, inside, mm -hmm. or we give them tickets. Yeah. But a hundred percent of the foundation, mm -hmm. the, the gala, mm -hmm. is already paid for before we open the doors oh. to the gala. So a hundred percent goes to the foundation. So we are very meticulous. Yeah with who we partner yes. for that. So we want to make sure that mm -hmm. money goes to those children yes. and those women. And then, uh, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's a feeling. It's a feeling inside. You know when somebody's true. It just, it, it can, I think anybody in the world, when you meet somebody that you trust that person immediately mm -hmm. or you just yeah. a little bit yeah. uh, put off. So I go personally and I go to every single foundation mm -hmm. that we're going to benefit. I see what they do. Uh, I, I see the project and the, we want to make that in, impact mm -hmm. to that foundation mm -hmm. that we are uh, adding bonus to mm -hmm. what they're already doing. So, mm -hmm. So you, go from, the gut. so you oh, go from, from the, the gut. gut. But it's hard to choose yeah. because they're also worthy of it. Yeah. Mm. And I know you've been doing this a long time, Maria. Yeah. And you've probably had many of them. Um, can you think of your best giving experience? You know, I, I, I don't know if it's my best, my most precious giving experience, mm -hmm. but definitely it was the one that impacted me the most. Yeah. And it was this child in Los Angeles. He, this family, the mom had two children and both of them uh, were, uh, had cancer. One of them passed away and the other one was really in bad shape. So the mom and the parents 
they, um, they had to mortgage their house to be able to pay for the medication. And he needed to have an operation and he couldn't because they didn't have any more money. They lost their home in mm. the end and the child was sick. Mm. The parent, uh, the father um, lost his job because he wasn't be able to go mm. to the, the work. Mm -hmm. um, and you think, oh my goodness, yes, a sickness, this is such a tragedy. Yes, to have a son that is sick, but everything around it, people don't think what is around it. Mm -hmm. And for me, uh, we did a fundraising for, for him, for Michael, mm -hmm. um, and we were be able to, we didn't be able to save his life, but we were oh. be able to actually, yes, do the operation and help the parents to financially to, mm -hmm. to be a little more. Mm. But it just impacted me so much. Can imagine. Um, that it just, it created this synergy of, of responsibility that I need to do something to help, you know, just people that are mm. in the same situation. To do something to do your part to make a difference in the world. And we all can. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. a little good intention goes yeah. a long way. Well, I would like to make a commitment from Vive Living that we are here to help you find some more of these people in the world who can be inspired by you. It's Thank a really you. big part of Vive Living, not just to look good and to feel good, yeah. but really to do good. And, um, and maybe one day we can have a little bit of that glow that you have, Maria, <laughs> this beautiful glow for all the good ripple effect that you've uh, benefited from. Um, I can't thank you enough for being with us today, Maria. Thank you. Maria, Global Gift Foundation founder, beauty, um, stunning, she's glowing, and <laughs> a heart of gold. Thank you very much, Maria. Thank you. So much. Thank you.